Hi, my name is Gustav, the developer of Tupitoof. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a sequence of images to create an animation. Let's say that you were working on a stop motion project or something like that, and you took a lot of pictures that you already have in a folder, and you want to convert them into an animated video. Now, before starting with the procedure, it's important that the array of images be sorted by name previously. Usually, cell phones and tablets create photo files using names following an alphanumeric sequence, so probably you shouldn't care about it. Nevertheless, if for some reason your images are listed in the wrong order when you browse the folder containing the pictures from the file manager, you will have to rename them using numbers to follow the sequence you want for your animation. Okay. Let's see how to create or animate a video using Tupitoop Desk. First step, open Tupitoop Desk. Second step, create a new project. In this point, it's important to set project's resolution using the same size of your images. The recommended resolution, if you are going to work with more than 50 images, is 640 pixels by 480 pixels. Bigger files than that could consume too much memory, generating a tupitoop crash. Third step. Open the library panel and select the option Image Sequence. From the file dialog, browse your file system and look for the folder where your image sequence is located, and choose that folder. A progress bar dialog will appear while the images are loaded. Once the process has finished, we will be able to reproduce our animation. In this point, you have to adjust the FPS value to set the speed you want for your video. In my case, I'm going to use 12 frames per second. Now, if you want to, you could add another layer to your project and start adding some elements to your animation. Of course, all this is optional, but the result can be interesting. Let's make a little example so you can see the technique I'm talking about. I'm going to add a halo to one of the characters in some of the frames. Don't forget to add a new layer and work all the drawing process on it, so you can enable and disable it anytime you want to. Ok, once you are ready to create your video file, pick on the player tab and click the Sport button. Follow the wizard dialog, clicking the next button. Finally, in the last page of the wizard, you will have to choose the name and the location of your video. Click on the Sport button, and that's it, your video is ready to be played. I hope you liked this mini tutorial. Suggestions about new content are really welcome in the comments section, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.